And good afternoon. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Let's start with the 3 o'clock window. And Sunday night, the Chiefs play in the 3 o'clock window. And then we'll go back to the Bears. We'll start with the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs will play the LA Chargers in SoFi Stadium, which the Chiefs have never lost in SoFi Stadium to the Chargers. Actually, the Justin Herbert is preparing to play. That was reported as a five hours ago. So it will be Justin Herbert. But they are missing some key players, such as Joey Bosa, Richard Slater. So the, Ra the Chargers are definitely missing some players. You would hope the Chiefs wouldn't make it that close. Running back, now we start with the Chiefs players to watch out for. Travis Kelsey needs to be better. Rasheed Rice has been good. The Chiefs are missing McHollywood Jr. as their second receiver as they are looking for a second receiver to bloom. Patrick Mahomes hasn't been himself, but I have no, no evidence that says he won't figure it out. Left tackle Wanya Maris Morris, Creed Humphrey, Trey Smith, Joe Tooney, Juwan Taylor are some of the best linemen in the league. Now, Juanier Morris is an average lineman. Juanier Morris is starting over rookie, King Zesatamalia. Of course, you would rather have the first round pick to make sure to have it work out for him to be the rookie starting tackle, but he can still have success later on. Defensive players to watch out for Chris Jones, Lumbacker, Nick Bolton, Trent McDuffie, Justin Reed. Running back J.K. Dobbins will also be a key matter. Chiefs defense players to watch out for. On the Chiefs defense players to watch out for. Chris Jones, linebacker Nick Bolton, who blew it up on fourth and one last week. Trent McDuffie, I'd like to see him get his first pick. Jamari Carner has been one of the very big bright spots for the Chiefs and a very big surprise. He had a scoop and score for a touchdown, also a pick. Justin Reed, also a player to watch out for. And that's the defense for the Chiefs to watch out for. Chiefs kick at 325. I'm taking the Chiefs 27-20 as Justin Herbert's playing. We've got another barn burner that's going to go down to the wire that maybe shouldn't. Patriots 49ers have failed to meet expectations as both teams are 1-2. and two. The Pats weren't really expected to be really good, but after coming up with a surprise win in Week 1 over the Bengals, you know, I guess that's not really surprising now because they're 0-3, the Pats haven't been able to jump back on track. Players to watch out for, Debo Samuels, George Kittle, and for the Pats, Gerard Jennings, Ben Ayuk, George Kittle, and for the Pats, I guess you could outline a couple of players, Rashard Stevenson, Jacoby Brissett versus... Brock Purdy, but Brock Purdy's had the better year. Jabari Peppers, Kyle Drigger are some of the players to watch out for for the Patriots. The 49ers are favored by 10. Give me the 49ers, but by the 7, 24-17. Cardinals and Commanders had a surprising game against the Bengals. The Bengals made it to 0-3 while wow, the Commanders beat them. They will play the Cardinals today. The Commanders will. Jaden Daniels has been the best rookie of the year for the Commanders so far. He was really good last week. They're surprising 2-1. and one. The Cardinals have not been good as expected. Washington and Commanders to host. That game kicks at 3.05. Cardinals are favored by 3, but give me the Commanders by 3. 24-21. And the Patriots host... Their game against the 49ers, the Cardinals host their game against the Commanders. Now we move on to the Raiders and Browns. The Raiders and Browns have failed to make the expectation, which is not unnormal. Raiders did have a surprise 
Ravens, but then next week dropped into the worst team in the NFL, possibly the Panthers. Cleveland is favored by two and a half. Give me the Browns, 24-20. Now on the Sunday night game, it will be the Ravens and Bills out of the, which will be a classic. Should be. The Ravens are one and two after getting their first win last week. The Bills are three and zero. Oh. They may have never now look like the best team in the AFC so far, especially after Week One against the Cardinals in the first half. Since the first half against the Cardinals, they have been really good. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, that will always be one of a matchup. James Cook and Derrick Henry, that'll be a good matchup. He had 151 yards against the Cowboys last week. Ed Oliver and George Ross, George Rousseau are also good players to watch out for at the line for the Bills. The Bills are missing one of their best players in Trevon Johnson. Linebacker Joaquin Smith and Kyle Hamilton in for the Ravens will also be a player to watch out for in the Justin Tucker field goals. He's missed a few this year, though. Kick is at 7.20. Now we go on to the 12 o'clock games. Now on to the 12 o'clock games. The Bears will host the Rams. Both teams are 1-2. and two. Rams look like they have the better quarterback of the at edge. Matthew Stafford over a young Caleb Williams. The Bears have to give Caleb Williams time to see if he's good. Bears fans, DeAndre Swift has not met expectations for his whole career. Karen Williams also posing back for the Rams. Cooper Cup, they may be without. The Bears need to get the ball to DJ Moore. We'll lead the Bears defense, Jalen Johnson will. Kick is at 12. Give me the Rams, 23-20. The Bears are favored by three, but I'm not picking them until they show me they can win a couple games. The game is in Chicago. Kick is at 12. Texans, Jaguars, Jaguars try to get their first win of the season. The Texans looked bad last week, but look to get a better performance this week. Lastly, the Texans got jolted by the Vikings. I see the Texans jump back on track. 27-17. Trevor Lawrence hasn't been himself. C.J. Stroud looks to bounce back in the game. Kick is at 12. The Jaguars are actually 0-3. Um, they haven't won a game. And Doug Peterson may be not coaching for the Jags very much longer. Again, that game kicks at 12. Bengals and Panthers. Bengals would hope that Andy Dalton wouldn't go out there and beat Joe Burrow since they chose Joe Burrow over Andy Dalton. The Bengals have not won a game yet this year, obviously. The Bengals are favored by five. Kick is at 12. Justin Fields, Steelers, 2-0. It's been nice to know that another side, the Bengals, the Panthers, are the worst team in football last week, except when Andy Dalton got it going. That game kicks at 12. Justin Fields and the Steelers, it'd be nice to be... They're not 3-0. and They've been really good. Anthony Richardson will oppose him. I thought the Colts were going to be much better, but they're not. I had the Steelers something like 8-9, 9-8, and eight, but I had the Colts at like 10 wins. Mike Tomlin is showing what he is. He's one of the best coaches in the NFL. T.J. Watt, Patrick Crean, players to watch out for. Game time is at, is from is at noon from Indianapolis. The Steelers try to go four and zero. Saints and Falcons. Saints were involved in a low scoring game last week, fifteen to twelve. The Falcons were not in a high scoring game as they lost to the Chiefs, where Nick Bolton blew it up. Both quarterbacks. Play Kirk Cousins, Falcons quarterback, David Carr, last season kick is at 12, Saints by 3, 24 21. The Falcons are favored by 3. 
Jets, who have been a surprising other team. Broncos, Bo Nix hasn't been good at all. He hasn't thrown his first touchdown yet. The Broncos defense is dominant last week against was dominant last week. Aaron Rodgers is still a pretty good player, maybe better than I thought he would be. I wasn't picking the Jets too much. Patrick Sertan Jr. will be a player to watch out for. Will McDonald will be a player to watch out for on the defense. He has five sacks. Game time is at 12. The number one rivalry will be the Vikings and Packers. Jordan Love is expected to be active for the first time in two weeks. Sam Darnold and Justin Jefferson are going to play each other. Sam Darnold and Jefferson are players to watch out for. Last week, the Vikings' pass rush got home. That's their best part of the defense as they lead the NFL in sacks. Three players have... A couple of players have four sacks. Patrick Jones and Green... And Greenland. Van Gilp has three... They are all the top 10 in sacks. They are dominant right now as it stands. The Packers had eight sacks last week against the Titans who are 0-3. Give me the Packers 27-22 as I have big expectations for them this year. The best game of the day is maybe the Eagles and Buccaneers. The Eagles and Buccaneers, Baker Mayfield will be a candidate to watch out for. The Eagles may have saved their season last week. Jalen Hurts is not off to a good start. He has more picks and touchdowns. Number one pick, Bruce Irving, is questionable. Chris Godwin, number one back, Bruce Irving, is questionable for the Buccaneers. Chris Godwin is a player to watch out for Buccaneers' Saquon Barkley, but did drop a few balls two weeks ago against the Falcons. Some of their defensive players, C.J. Garden for the Buccaneers. Javon Carter, he has been really good. The defense tackle sacks. The defense hasn't had the sacks they want. If not to do some problems off the field, who hasn't met expectations, Jalen Carter needs to meet them. Kick is at 12. Give me the Eagles. 37, 27, 24. The Eagles are favored by one point, the lowest on the day out of teams that are favored. That's Sam on Sports and Football.